Hey guys, Smithcrafters here. Got a quick little tip for you today. If you have a lathe, like I do a metal lathe, with a three jaw chuck instead of a four jaw chuck, and you have square material that you're trying to round down, just kind of figure this out today. I've been trying to figure out how to do this for a long time, and for some reason it just came to me. So I'm going to show you guys how to square how to round, how to turn a square blank into a round blank on a three jaw chuck without needing any special jigs. So first of all, you're gonna have to have an X on the ends to mark the center. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be close because this center point is what truly matters. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, back that up. You're gonna open up your three jaw, jaw drop it down in and keep it on this bottom jaw here you're gonna want one facing down to support it and you're just gonna slowly close it in and you're gonna get it nice and snug and then you're gonna take and get your center right on that X now that you got it started really tighten this down you don't want this coming loose get this bad boy tight turn it on tighten it up just a little bit more lock your center down back your tool off and take a nice easy pass you don't want to do too much because it can come out of them it can come out of those jaws and that's no good i've had plenty of material come flying off the jaws at me and it's not fun it's not fun when your material comes out of the chuck so you're just going to keep progressively taking a deeper cut until you've just about got it round or have it entirely round, you're almost there. So you just want to do a little section like this because your blank's not actually in there straight. This won't work very well with a shorter blank, but a longer blank. See, we got a little flat spot there. Let's take one more pass just to get rid of that. But this won't work very well with a shorter blank. This only works with a longer blank because what you do now that that is round, it's not perfectly centered, but it's pretty close to being center, but there's more material on this, on this side here than there is on this side. There's barely any here and there's some here. And if you want it centered, that's, that's just a little bit off. So take back this up just a little bit more. Now you can grab this from the round end like you normally would, get the tool out of the way. And again, punch this dead center. Put that right on your X. Tighten it down. And now you're gonna round this side. You can take a little bit bigger pass now that you've got a nice solid purchase on the other side. And now you should just about be dead center. It, it's still not exactly perfect, but you're pretty dang close. If you're turning pens or something like that, which is what I'm gonna be doing with this blank, ain't a problem, you've, you've got her now. Flip her back over, center her one more time, and go to town. Now I'm gonna take off all this material in this one solid pass, and I'm gonna come back and turn it down to three quarter inch. I just take it and run it straight down to three quarters of an inch, but this blank's a little bit larger than what I've been turning, so I don't want to take that big of a bite. You don't want to get too close because you don't want to damage stuff. But they get up there nice and close. Now, sorry, I bumped the camera there. Now we'll measure. Now we still got a ways to go. We got about a hundred thou to take off. Check her again. 
that'll be close enough to three quarter of an inch. And the reason why I turned mine down to three quarter of an inch is because I've gone in and bored out the inside of my chuck just a little bit because the spindle bore in my headstock is three quarter inch, but the bore in my chuck wasn't, but I opened my chuck up. I can run a three quarter inch bar clean through my headstock, which is gonna come in handy to get this added. see where we're at. Alright, there we go. And now, we're going to take this. We're going to run that clean through the headstock like that, just about a quarter of an inch away from the chuck on what needs to be turned down. And now we're gonna take this end. And there you have it, one rounded blank. And there's a little bit of a difference on this end, but that ain't a big deal because this whole thing's going to be turned down even more in the end. <laughs>